All right, let's continue Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. This is the second part of a longer stream. I've gotten into shaping the island as much as I want. I have fish to catch late night as well, so that's part of the reason. I'm putting more effort into this today. Okay. It's been going absolutely crazy with these balloons. Alright, well. If I look at the map. That is the, the loose plan I've laid down right now. There's like a main back street and I will have to adjust... Uh, the... what do you call it? The back river there a little. But otherwise... it's a good start. I got myself a snack as well to eat while I'm doing this. Okay. Alright, I need to clear this now. This is interesting. How does the back... Where does the back beach lie relative to everything? I can't do a main street that leads straight to the back beach. It's a bit light, unfortunately. That's just cause... That's central... Island. I'm not trying to... Reshape the whole thing, but... I don't like the concept of high ground in this game, so... I'm only gonna keep one piece of high ground. Maybe a second one for decorative purposes, but for now. Just that. I got crackers and some ham. I will probably keep all these trees. How many do I have on me now? I have four. Okay. I'll know what to do with them more once I divide the property a bit more. I mean, I can always just plant them, it's fine. Alright, let's... Just do this, just in case. Yep. Nice try. Uh, alright, I need to go plant these flowers. Unfortunately, the store is closed now, so I can't sell some of these. I might go plant them in front of random houses. But I'll try to contain them. Yeah. 
I mean, this will probably do. Just put a couple here. I just don't want them to grow, so. should block them. Ah, uh, same here. Let's just do this. I'll figure out a proper home for them later. Big job now. Get out of here. Alright. That's done. Oh, I didn't get those flowers. Whoops. Okay. Once it's done, then I can start dividing things up. I was trying to think, like, how I could make what I had. Because the original idea was just... So I guess have a little neighborhood in the bottom right part of that island there, but... The problem is, it's not a whole lot of space to get everything done. So, I changed my mind. Instead, I'm going to distribute everyone equally across the island, and then should hopefully work out. I don't know. I got a picture in my head. We'll see if it pans out that way.
may as well prep that edge so then it's just ready to go. This is what I missed in New Leaf, just... I mean, I understand that the... This wasn't available then, fair enough, but like, just being able to decorate outside. I think this is where this game shines over New Leaf, though it doesn't have as much in other areas, this part is really detailed. explosive to just destroy a bunch of land. I know, not the right game, but... I mean, Stardew has explosives. I mean, sure, you accidentally blow up your farm sometimes, but the option is there. It's a rite of passage. Everyone does that at some point. I'm not sure how I messed that up that, e that easily. is almost not warranted. Hang on. I'm getting a bite of crackers. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hooray! Now, next layer. We're probably going to need a hold and shuffle again. Oh, it's already done. Okay, then. Eat. This has to go now. There's not too many flowers left.
Oh. Okay. <laughs> kind of full. I suppose to put stuff in front of. Hang on. Well, perfect timing. Take my track jacket. Ugh, but I have too much stuff on me. It should work fine. I'd call it gently used. Plus, if you ever have to sell it, you can say it once belonged to Phil. Okay. Sure thing. Yeah, there's space here. Okay. Well, that can go here. Just need to put these anywhere. Okay. Let's get rid of this, because this was, this was just guidelines. Just so they don't grow. <laughs> I hope it stops it. I'm pretty sure it does. More than likely I'm going to have to place two next to there as well. Okay. Well, at least these can stack. the rest of these. Psst. The important thing is I don't get rid of any flowers. And now they're all just condensed. Again? We just got one. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, passively earning money while doing this, that's fine. It is a bit of a distraction, but at least it's money. Alright, uh, this is already full. I'll just go plant these somewhere. Did 
This is all probably gonna get redone later anyway. Oh no, but there's already some there. I don't want to put it anywhere where I know I'm going to have to move them. Here's not bad actually, they can get self-contained here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. On me. I mean, I'll just chop down the others. If I need more of them, I can plant them. Don't know. Okay, I'm gonna shake them just to make sure. Say with my luck, there's probably another one. All right. Lasted. No. Oh my god. another balloon or I'm losing it. <laughs> They've just been constant. begin the pain in the ass. Ugh. It begins. This is probably the easiest way is just go all the way across. I wish I could do this easily with one hand so I can keep snacking, but take a minute to like prepare. This is gonna take at least 20 minutes. <laughs> Come 
blow up once that's done. The way I'm going to play this is I'm going to divide this first of all into plots of land where I'm going to place the houses, but then also smaller areas that I'll be like, alright, I'm going to place something here in this area. I'm going to try and make like a grid of big and small plots, and then I'll just go plot by plot, do something with it, and hopefully by the end of everything, in the long run, it'll look good. I don't know. That is my loose plan. gonna require a lot of money. So I might have to look into the stock market or whatever. Just to fund this endeavor. Like this is the least error prone way to do it. I wish this was more exciting, but... Oh, crap. It's just how it is. Trust the process. Hey, Sandy, how's it going? reach for crackers every now and then. And I want some water. I haven't opened up my water. Alright. <laughs> okay. Back to it. I will have to save all the fruit next time. So there'll be a massive movement of uh, fruit trees. Ah, oh, shit. I'm off by one. I feel like I'm, the, I'm an old printer. Hang on, I want some more food. I wish you could just hold the button and then it would just continue in a straight line. That'd be awesome. But I get it. This is a form of busy work. It just means it takes longer. 
Like you have a drill and then you just hold the button and it goes through until you release the button. Life for the next 20 minutes. I, I wish I was just kidding. There we go. Okay. How many? Ugh. <laughs> Still a lot to go. It always wowed me when I saw people's islands and just the, the sheer extent of things, like... Not just the sculpting, but just the fact that they cover their island in flowers and they're all in intricate patterns. That would have taken... I don't know how many hours to do. Like, I'm barely into this. I've been trying to do the flower thing for days and I'm nowhere close to... ...having them do what they need to be doing. Imagine a spider is behind me. It's just in this narrow corridor. more and then I go back and clear the rest of them. Okay. Every time I do a line I'm like snacking on my crackers and meat. This is my dinner because I had like a light lunch. I wasn't hungry but I wanted to eat something. I hope that by the end of this I at least have a somewhat of a grid on the minimap going.
Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, just to give a loose idea. You can, you can see where I'm going with it. A lot of work has been done. The important thing is that other bridge will be up tomorrow, so then it'll be easier to get around town. Oh. This is definitely going to be way more intricate than my original island. I did not go to this extent. I'm trying to keep the number of inclines pretty minimal as well. I think I'll just have three overall. Or four? No, four. Another cracker break. Oh, damn it. Probably have to lay up some form of fence along the back, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I need a clear way for getting to this back beach, I know that much. I'll figure out what that looks like. It might just be a road, I don't know. anymore. Hang on. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. Crack a break.
It's okay. I've done way more intricate things in the past. I'm like a real construction worker. Smack out! <laughs> That's Australian for uh, smoke break, in case anyone was wondering. But it's just associated with taking a break. The tradesman break. Nearly there. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm thinking. <laughs> Again, just keeping a mental picture in my head of like, alright, what am I doing once this is divided? Because you can kind of already have a grid formation. If you go with the grid itself, right, I could say... I could say... Four houses up the top, or I could, I could squeeze in four, and then I'm I'm not entirely sure. Like I might make it so one grid is dedicated for one person, but that might be overkill, because then I don't think I can fit the rest of it in. I'd have to, because what it's ten houses, it might work. It might work. I'm just debating how much I should give each villager in terms of space. I might use trees to divide property lines, I'm not sure. The other thing is like, do I want them to have just front yards or do I want backyard front yard scenario? I think just because of the camera angle of this game, it makes sense to make it all front yard. It's a bit awkward to see things that are behind sometimes. Ah, not that.
Oh, man. This is taking me back to, like, the days of Terraria when I used to build shit. It's like, I think... When I'm doing something creative, it's just... Sometimes I just get quiet, and I, it's because I'm thinking. And I know that's probably not the best thing. It's like, I should probably think out loud a bit more, but... I don't want to say something and then be like, oh wait, never mind, that's probably not great. But I mean, what can I, what can I say? I'm just digging a trench, basically. Getting rid of everything. I can't really add too much to it. Okay. Cracker break. Hang on. I'm gonna be smart about this, because I keep having to, like, portion it every time. I'm just gonna make some portions that are just ready to grab. It's just food for thought. <laughs> Literally. That's probably good enough. All right. I need to amass money to move the houses as well. I don't have Nook Miles anymore. I use them all to buy all this stuff today, so... I gotta go get more miles, because... I want two more villagers to move out. I'm just probably gonna have to do the turnip thing. And just hope that I get lucky with it. It would have been a good idea to get up in the morning and do it today, but I couldn't. Stop playing. Next weekend. Doesn't change. I don't think there was a media shower. Okay, that's another line done. <laughs> Reward myself with more food. They got like. What are they? like a salty garlic tomato herb crackers and then there's like a bit of ham that I had so what I'm eating okay second last one nearly nearly there Here up. Hang on, where is it? Now I have all these ladders <laughs> I don't know what to do with. Uh, at least it stacks. I 
I think this is what the golden we weapons, golden tools should have been. Just something indestructible that you can just keep using. Like, by the time you get them, you've played this enough that it's just... The novelty of crafting tools has kind of gone. Like, I know this shovel is indestructible, but the one that I make, no, no, no. This one can break land masses in half. Still be perfectly fine afterwards. stretch. Imagine that was a spider. Oh, jeez. I haven't seen one today. Usually I see one every day. I'm kind of long overdue. Oh, just over. What did I just say? I have summoned the spider. Dude. <laughs> Don't look up to it. I just, I have this ability to just summon things. Okay, well that's an easy one. Let's just do that right now. Hey, look, construction, yay. Uh, I think I still have a rock somewhere that I haven't hit. We're at the end. All right. <laughs> now I have this massive open space that I'm going to divide into plots of land somehow. I think the easiest way to go about this... Hang on. Let me just see if I measured this correctly. It's like... 
there was another tree going would be here, which means this one should be here. Is it the same distance? Oh, hang on. I'm trying to do like an interchanging. No, I think it can go across one. It's fine. Get rid of. Is that too dense? Mm, I could do it like this. And just kind of leave that like that. Suppose it's not horrible. setting this up here. Shit. Okay, well, I don't have the ability to cook, so I can't learn that. Alright. So I need to evaluate this first. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a simple road. I might change my mind later, but... So this needs to have access at all times. This all, I guess, kind of dictate how much land I got to work with. So let's look at this. Where am I standing? It's too awkward to put a bridge here and make it connect that way. It's not the worst thing if the bridge is here. Hang on, let me see. But then it would be weird to go around and behind the museum. Okay, well, one thing I definitely wanted to do with the museum... And I'm not quite sure, but I'll figure it out. But, like, an outdoor area. I mean, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to go behind the museum.
I might square that off. something here. <laughs> and this isn't so much to actually do the stuff now, it's more allocating areas that I'm like, alright, I know I'm gonna do something here. I'm squaring that off. I think I know how I'm gonna do this. Alright. So, I mean, then if there's a bridge here, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, so if I was to hold on. plan it correctly. I mean, these balloons are earning me money, but at the same time, they're, they're being a distraction. Ah, it's over there. Stop. Okay. This is gonna be off, isn't it? Yeah, shit. Bridges are two tiles wide. Ah, but... Oh, no, hang on, is it? No, it is. I'm gonna say it's not gonna bother me, but it will. Um... I think I have a plan to make it asymmetric. If I put like a hedge or something here, but not on that side, then at least it'll even it out. Okay. I, I guess. <laughs> I'm not happy, but it's the best I can do. I'll just move this further up. So I still have the convenience of being able to cross the river like this, but it'll be a while before this bridge gets built. I'm just gonna lay down the foundation. Alright, I mean... I guess for now, put it here. I can get rid of it later. Is this enough? This might be enough. No. Okay. I was off by one. Stop! Yeah. And... There we go. I'm still trying to piece together a dinosaur to use as a decorative thing. It's gonna be something and the mammoth, not sure what yet. Alright, I mean, stay there. 
Okay, I'm getting rid of this, and I'm gonna actually place down parving so I can see it from the minimap. Oh, it's not color-coded. Eh, it's fine. This will be nice tomorrow. Slightly off. The thing is, this thing is too massive. Even though it's almost complete, it's... It takes way too much space. Okay. Uh... Not that. It sucks that it doesn't go all the way to the end. Oh no, it does. Okay, never mind. That's weird. It refused to do it. Continue. I might adjust this. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. Okay, snack break. <laughs> Gotta keep making my way through this. Um, I can't actually see it. Hang on. Yeah. Not that button, this button. I think I got it right. Let me step back. Yeah, that looks correct. Alright, cool. It's alright. 
money trees get planted constantly. Almost kind of makes sense to just divide it here. Maybe just a little bit here. I'll use... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but... I'm gonna use dirt. I think here. I'll drop some property lines. Let's see how that looks. Hang on, I need to step away from it. It does seem a bit small because of the trees. I should probably shift it over one. Ah, <laughs> Stupid tolt. There we go. I know, I'm blaming the tool when it's probably me. Fence line starting here is not a bad call. So that means I will squeeze five. Alright, let's take a look. That'll comfortably fit a house. I guess the thing I haven't taken into account is, realistically... Hang on. It should be this. I'm doing everything by eye. <laughs> I think measuring will take too long. So I may be correct the whole time, let's see. Yeah, that's about equal. Because if you take the tree line into account, it's like, yeah. I mean, there's a little extra space, but that's fine. Um, I guess just to visualize this a bit better. I will probably remove this ultimately. This is just... To make it easier on the minimap to see what's going on. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's about equal. Maybe off by one, but... No, it is definitely off by one. I'll fix it. Let's see it. Uh, I think it's always going to be off by one, but I think the tree... Maybe it'll be fine. Like, uh, the way I had it before might have been work worth it. Okay, hang on. I know how to fix this. To make it more accurate and representative be here. Because I can shove stuff in this pocket here. And I could get rid of these two trees. I think it'll look fine in, in practice, because the fence line, I would imagine I'm going to take all the way to here, so I think it's fine. So then, it should be here. Even though it might look funny, it, it'll work out. like equal distance okay let me look at this now like five so it sticks up enough okay move along I 
I guess this last one currently covered by stuff, but this should be okay. Like all that stuff to the to the side's gonna go. Plots are a little bigger, but I guess there's nothing wrong with that. If I put four, they're going to be too tiny. I think it just looks larger because... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Again, those lines won't be visible so much. It's okay. It'll, it'll work. Not every plot of land is equal. So, as far as where I'm going to live, I think I'm going to take this plot here because it immediately lets me see if the art is on sale, and then I can take a warp pipe to middle of town. I think that's how I'm going to play it. So this will be my plot of land. Because then when I walk out, I'm going to be like, oh, there's the ship. Okay. I could probably action that now. Now I need to plan where the actual houses are going to go. I mean, I'm positive it probably won't let me put it all the way up the back, but let's just... Let's assume it can. How wide are houses? Is it like four tiles wide, I think? One, two, three, four, five tiles wide. Okay. Five by two. No. It's two. Okay, it's one more. It might be a little uneven. about all right okay um see i might go for a design where but the house is more on this side here Dude, move. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's 
some other placement. And then the last one. And I'm just gonna go for middle. Because it's not gonna have a, a fence. Stop! Okay. Here I think I might do the reverse. I might go... Put the house here. It just spun around. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Why are Nintendo controls just so weird this generation? Okay. And then this one... More or less in the middle. Yeah, that works. Okay. Let's see it. I don't mind the asymmetrical look. It's just so it's not so perfectly uniform every time. Okay. I think I'm happy with this. Now... I'm gonna action it by moving my house first. <laughs> 20,000 oh. 20, per move and then there's 10 moves, 200,000 bells to get it done. Infrastructure. I want layout changes. An island home. Wait, hang on. Damn it. About my home. I want to relocate. There it is. I don't know why it's under a different thing. Oh, it's only 8,000. Hell yeah. Okay. So why... Why have Bill just 20,000 bells, then? To move them. How's it going? Okay, it does allow you to do it. Now 
Ja. Okay, so... Now I can set that up. Um, the exit pipe. Which is probably not a bad idea. Nah. I like it. That'll take me straight to the vendors. Just enjoying Halo 3. How's my day been? Oh, it's been chill. Pretty lazy Sunday. Besides from a couple of errands I had to run, but... Can I do multiple moves in one day? Or is... Uh, I doubt it allows it. Like, this game is usually one at a time. Let's see. I mean, I am building something. I'm gonna try it. If I can, good. If I can't, well... Jeez, it's gonna be like... 10 days of... <laughs> having this conversation. And moving them. Hang on. I'm just snacking on crackers and just having some. Alright. Didn't know it had Mario pipes. They added it for uh, one of the anniversary updates for Mario. I hadn't played since 2020, so started a new island. Layout changes. Ah, oh. yeah, that sucks. I guess one at a time. But I'm currently just laying out a plan to uh to decorate my island I completely demolished the back part <laughs> just, it took ages but it's there so I was just dividing it into plot of, plots of land and planning where stuff's gonna go They're no longer updating the game, so... You know, how's all the content it's gonna have? It's a lot of fun. I can't exactly draw a road here yet, because I'm using this area as a flower thing. Gotta have a blank slate to make it really cool. Did you try any of the DLC? Because there is a DLC for it that adds a bunch of stuff. Primarily, like, you go decorate houses for other people from another island. This is just a mess, but once the flowers are there, it'll be fine. Okay, well, since this is moving, I can take down this fencing. It's no longer needed. fencing do I even have? Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, what category is fencing under? Hmm. Other? It's other. Okay, I have this, and I have this. Don't think you had the DLC, a bit of a basic bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, the DLC just... It's not that detailed. I need more fencing designs. <laughs> fencing made out of pumpkins. Really? Um... Stone, branch... Ugh, I need a lot of branches for that. That's bamboo. I think I can do that fencing. I might start with this for me. If I don't like it, I can get rid of it. Shame it stopped getting updates. Yeah, it was a bit early. I don't know. This was the first Animal Crossing game I played, and it was fun, but I recently checked out New Leaf, and New Leaf just had a lot more to do. I mean, it doesn't have the intricacy of, like, decorating your island outside or what I'm doing, but the activities were, like, a lot more... later. Tomorrow I'll be able to do this. Okay. Uh, I mean, I got this fencing, but it's kind of boring. Alright, I have plenty of bamboo. That's the typical consensus you hear about the two games, yeah. I still like this one more because I enjoy this aspect. But everything else, New Leaf is definitely better. I'll need. <laughs> I wish this game had gates. That'd be cool. I'll see how I go. Um, I guess that's the weird thing is like right now <laughs> I'm kind of disconnected from my house. Okay. Um, just erase this. And then place one down. I guess it should be one wide because it's five wide. Your favorite thing to do was collecting the deep sea creatures. Pretty much spent all your time doing that. So much of the island became a bit of a disorganized mess. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> oh, very early on, I just had piles of stuff everywhere ready to donate.
Um, how does fencing end? Hmm. I guess I'll sit, because I don't know if I want them all to have the same fencing. But this might just be a case of I don't have a choice. And I have to do it that way. Okay. So. For convenience sake as well, I'm going to have like another opening so I can get out this way. In fact, I might even just do that across the board, just so I can run from property to property, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I guess here for now. detail I've gone to. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay, that, there we go. That was weird that it let me do that, but sure. Okay. Wait, I guess I can place stuff back here. Okay. Uh, just erase this now. Be enough. It's okay. Yeah. I'm debating if I should allow like a walkthrough. I mean, maybe for convenience sake. It's like, you know, just very neighborly, able to walk from one yard to another. Just walk across here. I think I'm gonna do it. It just makes sense. It's just... It makes it easier to get around. <laughs> I mean, okay, I land in the flowers. I might fix that. easily traversal, which is the total opposite of your island. <laughs> but what I had before originally, like, it just... 
was horrible. Particularly the house was just a shit show. See if I can buy any other fencing with Nook Miles. I probably should have been checking on a daily basis. I mean, right now the northern part of the island looks neat, but here it's a hot mess. It's just... There's just houses and stuff everywhere. chaos yeah I keep saying just trust the system One, two, then gap. And then continue. If I really wanted to, I could start cleaning this shit up. <laughs> so then it, it is actually the plot of land. I know who I'm gonna put here, like, probably Pico, because her style is oriental, so it makes sense. No, Pico should be here, because I can, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to move the stuff anyway, so... Okay. Who's my favorite villager? Uh, Al I like Alice. Just... Koala... Looks nice. Seems to be very nice as well, like... Polite. Probably the best looking Australian themed character, in my opinion. I got lucky and found her pretty early on. Didn't put any effort, really. the fence line going. I think for now I'll stick to the bamboo fencing. Just to keep things simple and then I can change it later if I want. It's always the best when you don't have to grind like a madman to get your faves. Every single villager with the exception of Pico, because, okay. All of them I did not have to grind for. With Pico, 
I was like, all right, I have 70 Nook Miles, let me just see how my luck goes, and then suddenly it was horrible. But every other villager, I don't know. I have very chaotic luck. It just took forever. Four hours of island hopping. It wasn't that I was looking for Pika, I just wanted a villager that I thought would look good, because I haven't seen them all. The only other villager I would want to get is Scoot, but I feel like that's going to be an ordeal, so I don't know. I have two that I want to move out, and then I guess hopefully I can get Scoot for one of those slots. I'm losing my mind, but I swear I hear a balloon. It's been... it's been a while. Maybe it's fine, let's see. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Alright, I need to go get more. I don't mind this fencing, it looks fine. I guess I'll prioritize this bridge. Um, uh, maybe the other, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm not really gonna go up this area. This is more because you need high ground for fishing. I guess it's like a lookout part, I don't know. I had to put two inclines down, so that's where I put them, so. It's not a waste, I decided to put another incline down. I knew it, I heard one. Where is it? Can I even hit this? No, I need to wait. I'm almost out of bamboo. Didn't stop on one corridor for an hour. <laughs> Shit. I don't envy that. 
I say this as someone that gets stuck on random things constantly. Endeavors that take multiple hours. This. I've been doing this for almost six hours now. But at least I've got somewhere. It's You watched a few of my clips on Game Rachel's Witness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, between the glitches, just things not going my way, or sometimes things go my way, it's just... Man, some of the things I had to do when I played all the Zelda games. Heart pieces that took multiple hours to get. I think by far... The two worst things I've ever had to endure. Getting all the Platinum Relics and Crash Bandicoot. The original game. I mean, the trilogy, yeah, as a whole, it was... It was tedious. I still had fun, but at times... Oh, man. And Melania from Elden Ring. Oh, my God. I mean, I was happy to beat her, but man. Yeah, Ghosts and Goblins was another game. But I didn't. I didn't do the hardest difficulty on that one. I'm not eldering, I haven't recovered from that one. I'm waiting for the DLC. I wanna go again. Very great game overall. Just that fucking waterfowl dance and the the life leech when combined with that. I must have heard her say her name at least a hundred times. beautiful game but for someone who's not so great at souls it gave you the shits i i don't know where i stand when it comes to souls games like i can't look at myself impartially and judge my gameplay but i will say i did better than i expected myself to do because i don't play them either the only souls games i've played on stream was that and um demon souls There were multiple bosses I did first try in that game. Okay. That's that. And this one... It's a pretty easy one because its property line is the cliff. Stop! So yeah, I really want to play the DLC, because I played, I guess, a melee class. So I want to try magic, even though I guess magic is considered easier. 
from what I've been told. Wow, I ran out again. Alright. Um, this is no longer necessary. It's weird that I just thought about, like, I consider Elden Ring and Crash Bandicoot to be the worst things I've had to do, but then Splunky, which is something that definitely at times got to me, I feel like overall that experience wasn't that bad, having to finish that game. I wonder if this will get in the way. I guess we'll find out. All right, well, these are... I mean, I don't know if I'll... I guess this isn't necessary now. Like, maybe for decoration, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But now I'll get rid of it. The only thing I have to do now is touch up here, which is a bit of a process. Depends what build you do, but even with melee builds, there's easy only scrub use builds. Yeah, I was dual wielding great swords. Um, originally, it was just like a single two hander, but then eventually, I did uh, great sword dual wielding, which was fun. went to the effort to set this up, but really this was just to move the flowers. Now... There's probably nothing wrong with moving them now. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Create a containing box. This is going to be subject to change, but for now... Okay. And I guess let's just take this. Okay. Well, now I guess I organize... Well, hang on, how much space do I have? I guess I can... Mmm, okay. It's six wide. Got it. Well, oh, see, I don't think there's anything wrong with just doing a massive field of flowers. Okay. Ah! Not like I, I didn't spend an eternity moving these flowers in the first place. It's okay, it'll work. Alright, um... I'm just gonna be lazy and just line them in a straight line color. It'll be useful for when, um, I do the whole needing to water plants thing for Nook Miles. They're all just there. <sighs> okay. Okay, 
Okay, thankfully I am nearby. I honestly forget what is used in a shovel. I'll just take out everything. You would think, given the amount of time I've sunk into this game, I would know it. Be enough, I don't know. We'll see. think of anything better to do with these right now. Um... Let me just... stick to this. See what I have left over. Can probably plan it like this. I have room for one more. Eh. Oh, man. <laughs> it's okay. That was always going to be temporary. I just, I just, just guess I'd, I thought it'd be longer before I'd move them. I mean, even this, this is... Even more temporary, but I can't really plan out where these are going to go ultimately. I might not even have them ultimately. Like, I might just, once the other flowers have grown, just start getting rid of some of these.
Wait, what? That doesn't let you dig. I see. I want to finish this road. Then the land division. So that means that I just have to squeeze five elsewhere, which is not too bad. I have five on me, which become eight, okay. Yeah, I probably can't fit them there. shovel on I balloon. Alright, now I can finish this up. Yeah. Can I not? Oh. 
Yeah, but this... Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so I need to get rid of these ones as well. Which I guess, if I'm doing that, this comes out. Okay. <laughs> I need to fix this. Entirely sure what I'm doing. Some kind of arrangement. worked. That's going to be hedge. I think that moves, moved most of them, right? Yeah, it did. Alright, cool. I'm going to go make the hedge. Yeah, oh, hold on. I don't think I've done this one yet. Ah! Oh no. Stupid analog stick. I think I need to recalibrate it. I don't know, it's being weird. Not this one. Please don't break. Please don't break. Stay alive, shovel.
custom fencing and a flash. Okay. What could go wrong? <laughs> Hopefully there's some good ones in there. All of the fences, right. I mean, I put wood, it's fine. Alright, so that's just if I want to customize the fence itself. Okay, it taught me a park fence. <laughs> yeah. Too many down, but that should hopefully be enough to cover what I want to do. I was gonna do so then this gives the illusion of symmetry that's interesting I can almost make a decoration out of that Either way, it's going to be somewhere strange. I'll put it here. Just a way to hop home.
In case I want to take a shortcut. Alright. I mean, it's the start of a setup. Not sure what else I'm gonna do here, but that is gonna all depend on the dinosaurs that I get. But at least, roughly, what I want to set up. Okay. Now for the sh- Oh! No, it's okay. Alright. So, let me... This just the beginning. This is gonna take... ages. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not working? Because that's not the same shovel. This is the shovel. I mean, given what was here earlier, this is a lot of progress. Okay. Alright, so with this, I have an idea. I'm just not sure if it'll work. Let's see. It is loud. Excellent. All right. Then Pico is leaving, living here. be interesting, but I'll see if I can pull it off. I'm not sure the shape this has to take for it to work, but there is a way to do like a decorative bridge. I'm just not sure if this will work. Diagonal bridge. I just want to see the shape. Okay, that's what I wanted. There's a diagram. Okay. Let me start again. Okay. 
I got how it works. So if you assume this is the corner, you go... I'm not sure this will fit. <laughs> I mean, I, I would love for it to f be here, but it might be a no-go. started again. I think I did the wrong measurement. I definitely need visual guides. Okay, so I want the bridge to go this way. Let's do it with this for now. So the light bridges work. I suppose I need to do alternating colors so I know. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I'm taking this into a graphics editor. Oh yeah, this is the effort I'm going into. Because they have this grid, and it's like, it makes sense, but I want it the other way around. And it's that time of night where, like, brain is like, hey. Okay. That's what I want. So. From here. See on this. This. 
This is purely so then I can see the actual grid. I don't have to do alternating, but it just makes it easier to spot it out in terms of, uh, like, tiles. Oh shit. Nearly there. This is the last one. And then all I have to do is just dig that out. Okay. So that's the framework. Good. No, that's what I wanted to do. Yep. And this will enable a bridge. I just need to shape it correctly. <sighs> I thought the point of doing that was to block it. Hardest to be careful here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And now this one needs the same thing. All I, all I wanted was a visual guide. <laughs> and now the bridge will go that way. I can get, I can get rid of this. <laughs> okay. I did it. I don't know if any fish will turn up in it, but uh. I 
killed. It's settled who's gonna live here. And there's still plenty of room. Yeah, this worked out fine. Okay. I guess the remaining thing is just to move this stuff. I should probably go customize my shovel. It's gonna break. One more lot, just in case. all these ladders now that aren't really going to be useful anymore. pumpkins. I'm not quite sure what to do with them. I don't think I'm gonna give a single villager 20 pumpkins. where I can move them to. Maybe where all the flowers are temporarily. I don't know. Like, I don't want to just chuck them inside where I'm going to put a house just yet. Like, I'm sure some of them will have decorative gardens, but for now, like, I want to leave it as empty a slate as possible, with the exception of this one, because I know the direction I'm going with that. I have an idea. Maybe. I mean, this will be purely for convenience sake. something to move those trees. No, you know what? No, I don't. I'm just gonna chop them. 
These aren't special trees. I can make them grow back easy. That's fine. There's already another tree growing there anyway. In the name of progress. And I guess this would be Doctor. Alright, so... think this through correctly. Oh, this is that's gonna end up on the river. I mean maybe that's fine. Maybe it doesn't have to be what I want it to be like that. Oops. I'll just lay stuff out. Stop! forgot about yellow. Eh, I can do something else somewhere else. Alright. Then I have carrots here that need moving. need one more carrot. Maybe. I might have one more starter to even it out. I think I know what I'm going to do.
from now. Okay. I wish I had more vegetables, but this is all I have right now. balloon okay the, uh, admittedly the only thing I didn't think of was the entry but I think I know what to do that's fine couple actually on either side I hear it where is it there it is All right, it'll get there in a minute Again, I'm probably going to take out the tree. I'm just thinking of putting furniture around this. I'll try and make it like a community garden type thing. This is coming with. This is coming with. This is coming with. Again, this house will be gone tomorrow. It's moving. Not that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. But we also need room for just random things. Which means... Alright. 
um, garden lantern. I, mean, I guess I could place it here. It would work. I just need another one. Um, hand cart that can go off to the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's something. get one more carrot out, hopefully. As for what to do with the rest of these, well... I mean, I already kind of have this area dedicated already. I'm just gonna, like, be lazy. Since I have to come here anyway. This is a case of I will just fix this later. <laughs> This can come with me. Okay, I'm, I'm just being extremely lazy here. This entire side's gonna get revamped, ultimately. Once these flowers are all doing their thing. I think it'll be good once it's set up. Okay, um... Just... Oh, this is garden stuff. There we go. Last, I'm gonna get fencing for here. And customization kits.
30 should be enough. Let's see. Getting late, I think I'm gonna call it quits. Alright, hello, Iron Lord. No worries, thanks for popping in. Enjoy the rest of your night. I should probably do the same, to be honest. Oh. I don't know. Probably that. Let's just go with that. I'll see how it looks. Oh, I did it. Oh, it did the whole stack. All right, nice. All right, good convenience. easy to go from out here. Ah. I'm, I'm doing the whole convenience thing again, which is just multiple ways to get in and out. What is wrong with my analog stick? It just keeps spinning around randomly sometimes. Dude. Huh. Surprisingly, it's sort of aligned. Ow. Okay, the handcart is in the way. I guess the other reason I left the back open is just if I want to fish in the river still. It's a possibility. Okay, well, that dealt with the pumpkins. Oh, I forgot to get the carrot. I hope I have one spare. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I do. Okay. I wish I could do it before and after. <laughs> The top side of the map is now just completely different to what it was. Okay, uh, all right, the car. Yeah, 
Okay, I mean, it's behind by a day, but that's fine. It'll catch up. I wanted to have this relatively close to where I live. Yeah, this should be good. Now I can see when the art is in town. And then I have a path straight to selling. Okay. Let's finish this up. It's just these that need to get moved. This is gonna be temporary. so they don't grow across. Seriously, gonna have to take a look at this controller. I think it just needs recalibrating or something. I don't know, but it just sometimes I press a direction and then the character just spins around completely. It's not drift. There it is again. It's not drift. I think it's just being overly sensitive. Oh yeah, Nintendo controllers. They are, they are good. No widespread issues with Nintendo controllers. I'm just walking on eggshells, just how inaccurate it's being sometimes. Okay. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yep.
Okay. I'm not entirely sure if this will ultimately be a bridge. I guess we'll see how many I have to mess around with. I want to put like a decorative bridge here. Um, Pico is going to move, so. If you imagine. What's a house? This house. This little house. Over here. So we'll go here, then we'll have this bamboo stuff, and it'll have a bridge which can also be red. It'll look good. That's probably going to be the next move I do is that one. Fencing away, shit. I need the fencing back. Okay, uh. to put these. Oh, crap. Did the wrong color. They'll be here, and eventually I'll probably put them in the villages. lazy with this. It's just so they don't... I don't know. Spread around. They just get out of hand.
I don't really know what I'm going for here. <laughs> Gas, and then we still have some leftover. I'll let that one grow. Just don't want. These can grow out. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was an accident. Okay. Well, whatever. Ooh, hold on. Is this what I think it is? No. Oh, damn it. There's late night fish that I haven't gotten. How many hours was I in that? I completely forgot I had this orphan look going. That's fine. Gotta get the bamboo fencing, and that's a start to this. I can move houses up there, and then this will look less crowded. And then I gotta more or less do the same down here as subdivide and restructure land. I think the big task will be moving the trees. I gotta start saving fruit so then I can move all the trees around. I'm not putting anything away. Uh, fencing. There it is.
just gonna make sure I got it right. Ooh, that is a nook mile bug over that. That was a very specific one to do. I should do the stretching thing because it's just very quick. Uh, let's just make sure. Excluding this, like that's gonna be fine. Oh man, that was <laughs> the amount of effort. We're not even done yet, but. Okay. It's a start. Like, actual neighborhood. I mean, it's not as impressive now. You can kind of see what I'm getting at. The map won't look impressive. I wish it color-coded things and it would look cool. Okay. But the whole northern area is just not what it was now. since you got bonus for it. Yes, let's stretch. It's the bedtime bell. Look at that synchronization. noises it makes, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if you could get away with just Shaking the Joy Cons and not really doing it. It's just I need knock miles. <laughs> Well, that's not going to happen. There's no easy ones on the board. I can't sell. There you go. Finally got around to beginning to make the island look like something good. Alright, well, this is where I'm going to have to leave it. <laughs> In case 
the time was not indicative of what was about to happen. Anyway. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end if you're watching this later on YouTube. If you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click one of those buttons. Particularly ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. You can also watch more content from me by clicking one of the two videos that have popped up on your screen. So, I hope you do do that and enjoy. Yeah, till next time. Bye, YouTube.